So if you want to kind of look up Bill and Howe and how they got started, it's a pretty amazing story. But specifically what they're known for is making the first all metal Hollywood motion picture cameras. Remember in the early days, movie cameras were made of wood. They were basically wooden boxes. So yeah, as the old story goes, Bell and Howell had produced a cinematograph camera, it was made of entirely uh, wood and covered with black leather. And the following year, a husband and wife filmmaker team, Martin and Osa Johnson, discovered that during an exploration trip in Africa where they were to shoot a movie, their Bell and Howell camera had been damaged by mildew and termites. <laughs> so the camera was eaten. So they wrote to Bell and Howell, and when Bell and Howell learned that their camera had been damaged in this way, they decided that they would try and create the first all metal professional motion picture camera, introduced in about 1912. Uh, and it was called the, the 2709, and that's a legendary camera. Uh, it basically built old Hollywood. You name it, Mary Pickford, Charlie Chaplin, uh, pretty much everybody shot on Bell and Howell equipment, and that's how they made their name. And after Bell and Howell had kind of conquered Hollywood, This is Ben-Hur, one of the most exciting movies of all time. Bell and Howell began experimenting with the idea of a personal motion picture camera, and they built prototypes. But the company was invited to view Kodak's plans for a 16 millimeter film format. And in 1923, Bell and Howell manufactured the first spring-driven 16 millimeter camera, beating Eastman Kodak by about two years. Now, the demand for this camera was so great, even at a price of $175, which is, today would be about $2,700. It was on back order until 1930. You know, these cameras are great introductory 16 millimeter motion picture cameras, a great introductory camera for filmmakers, simply because they are built like tanks. They are over-engineered to be incredibly reliable. 